you they're funny looking. Hey! Sorry. It's heading underground to look after its one huge egg. I think I'll get out of its way for a bit. They use that long beak of theirs with its specially placed nostrils to sniff out worms for dinner. There are some other famous flightless birds too. Let me show you. Ah, ostriches. Now these guys are really clever. They live in the Kalahari in Africa where it's really hot and dry. So they get all of their water from the food that they eat. Oh look, they're taking the chicks for a walk. <laughs> Yasmin holds a warthog! Ostriches are the largest living bird species. No wonder they can't fly. This is a rhea. He lives in Patagonia in South America. And as you can see, he's keeping low to the ground to protect its eggs from the blistering wind. <laughs> oh, it's a bit blowy out. Oh, it is windy. Oh. Each of those eggs is ten times bigger than the chicken's egg that you might have for your breakfast. Now they're big enough, he's taking his chicks to find some food. It's important to keep your feathers clean in such a dusty and windy place. <laughs> Nearly got it! <laughs> Yuck, feathers. The dad needs to watch out for predators to keep his chicks safe. Hey, I've got my eye on you. Clear off. Hey! Don't mind me. So you see, those birds might not be able to fly, but they make up for it with other special skills. <laughs> Hello, I'm Andy. Welcome to my secret hideout. Hello? Anyone home? It's a caiman. Caimans are closely related to alligators and crocodiles. They normally live in Central and South America. Not under my bed. Caiman are carnivores, which means they eat meat. They'll munch on anything from insects to fish to small birds and mammals. And they have amazing, sharp, strong teeth that they use to crunch down on their food. Shiny too! Do you know any other animals with amazing teeth? I do. Here they are. <laughs> oh, oh, sharks! Sharks! <laughs> I'm only kidding. These are ragged tooth sharks. I only feed on small fish. Be careful, little guys. I'm getting out of here. Good idea. Can you see how amazing the tooth shark's teeth are? They're constantly being replaced. When one falls out, Another one is ready to take its place. I think I'll leave them to it. Wow! Humpback whales! Look at them go! They don't have teeth. Instead, they use these. They're called baleen plates. They're made up of the same stuff as our hair. It's like having a moustache on the inside of your mouth. And they use them to feed. Watch my show. You. The humpback whale takes a huge gulp of water and then closes its mouth. And then it pushes the water out through its baleen plate and it acts like a sieve, leaving its dinner behind. Clever, eh? <laughs> it's a newt. Newts are carnivores. They eat insects, shrimp, and even worms. Yum! Delicious, slippery, slidey, wiggly worms. Newts belong to a family called amphibians. Amphibians are cold-blooded. They're born in the water with gills, and then they grow up to be able to breathe air. There are a few more awesome amphibians that you might well recognise. Here they are. <laughs> These are leaf-folding frogs. And these little guys are trying to make their way to the top part of a leaf so they can call out to be heard from far away. This fella is inflating a special pocket in its throat so he can sing out and attract a female. My the female will lay her eggs on the leaf. Then the tadpoles, the baby frogs, will soon start to develop. As soon as they've got big enough, they roll out of the leaf and safely land in puddles below. This is the Indian common toad. Toads are amphibians too. The female has been waiting for the rains to come so she can lay her eggs. The male turns yellow for just one day only, and that's so it can attract a female. You Jeff, look, <laughs> I'm yellow. Yeah, me too. Then the female lays her eggs, which look like this. They'll become toadlets and eventually toads. So you see, there are lots of incredible amphibians out there. 
Some of them may even live in your local park or garden. Hang on a minute. Can you hear something? It sounds like it's coming from my dressing gown pocket. Oh, look! It's a rat! Oh, I love rats. They're fascinating creatures. Hello, Ratty. Hello, Andy. Rats usually eat seeds and fruit, but they'll pretty much eat anything. They've got very strong teeth, which keep on growing throughout their lifetime. They don't have very good eyesight, so they use their whiskers to help them get around. <laughs> rats are very misunderstood creatures. Lots of people are scared of them and think that they're dangerous and dirty. In fact, rats are very clean and super intelligent, even if I do say so myself. That's right. They've been known to solve puzzles, and they've even started helping humans find dangerous bombs on the ground left there by wars. They come from a family called rodents. There are lots of animals in this family. Here are just a few of them. These are the largest rodents on the planet. Whoa, I told you they're big. They're called capybara, and they live in South America. They're quite happy on land, as they can gallop as fast as a small horse. But they're also happy in the water, too, as they're good swimmers. Their eyes and their noses are on top of their heads, which means they can go nice and low in the water so as not to be seen by predators. Ignore me. I'm not really here. I'm a flower. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> then there's the beaver. This clever rodent uses its incredible, ever-growing teeth to chop down trees, which it uses to build its home. It is very good at chewing the wood down to size in order to patch up any holes in the home it builds. Look, there's one now. A bit of mud here and another stick here are perfect. 